Dude, there's no way Bitcoin can stabilize at $40,000, like on double option exploration. There's no way. On a 30th, they might. That means a portion of the big money will win and then they will immediately pull it out. And then everybody have the, the August 1st、um, exploration date options are just gonna be absolutely mine effed. Absolutely. Because Bitcoin itself is trading at cost right now. It's trading at a multiplier of cost. And just, oh my God. The, the price movement is. Anyways, just some random prediction I made by day, I guess. I don't even hold a position in this. I just think. Um, high end gambling in the BTC market is t real. It's, it's super fascinating. It, it's, it's no longer a, a asset you trade off of value. I mean, I mean, I would argue that even from the beginning of the day, Bitcoin never holds any value. And a lot of you are going to be bashing on me for this. But hey, as, as someone who wasted so much time in his high school life and wasting money and actually, you know, buying M farms and trading off of, Uh, not really trading mining off of school utility. A high school guy was supposed to go party and enjoy his life. Instead, he started reading about Bitcoin, started reading about not really Bitcoin, but blockchain itself.、Uh, our little group always believed that the future of blockchain is always in data storage, but the efficiency of, of such method needs to be improved and the, the energy consumption. Uh, in terms of how it works, it's, it's, it's going to follow the exponential model, and they sort of we have to put up a ceiling for that、uh, energy consumption. If we cannot solve that problem, the maturity of blockchain storage is going to be a challenge for decades or for generations to come, which now none of those actually solved itself. You know, with Big,、uh, Ethereum Classic 2 or is it just Ethereum Classic coming out, because I haven't followed in the, the community for a long time now. Um, cause, cause I have a price point in my head where I think it will never hit and it hit already. You know, it's just like how we're shorts, you know, one of the three founders of startups used to thought that Amazon was a bad idea. That might be my, you know, worst idea ever to think that Bitcoin actually doesn't really, you know, worth any money per se. And I, um, and I liquidated, not really liquidated, I used my Bitcoin back in the old days when it only worth like, You know, only you know, 20 bucks or whatever per Bitcoin back then to buy、um, very interesting internet commodities and use, use it to sort of silk road certain things, you know. But it, do I regret it? No, I learned from it because you can never underestimate the stupidity of the entire market. I mean, again, 90% of the traders make money anyways, even though, you know, maybe my thoughts are maybe 10 years or 15 years ahead. Because I, I can already see who's behind Bitcoin itself. It's a, it's literally an asset involuntary repo situation, but not all people really see it. But, anyways, going back to this video, it's just gonna be a very small video on, you know, BTC future or just BTC on double exploration, the option exploration date, where I think majority of the August 1st,、uh, 40,000. Dollar、um, price point call options just gonna be expire worthless. And、um, for the for those of the people who actually bought Bitcoin puts around、um, you know July 30th, 2021, good for you because you fold the trendy line of all these big institutional money or just it's more like a retail fiesta. And you know, around $38,000 is gonna be a support line because that's where Tesla's average holding is around at. And for those of you who actually went back and see, you know, went back and look at Tesla's long term holdings and long term investment, I'm pretty sure it's categorized in there. But due to the SEC vague ruling or regulatory compliance upon Bitcoin holdings, they don't need to really disclose how much Bitcoin they're holding at what price. If, but if you're a European comp、uh, company that Uh, you do IFRS, then you have to sort of disclose that. So, I'm really curious about is for those of you who are closely monitoring Tesla's holdings and closely monitoring Tesla's situations and their 10Ks, I mean,、uh, 8Ks and everything,、uh, do some math for you know, Q1, Q2, and, and see you know, when the Q4 and Q3 earnings are coming out. See if, if they actually contracted their Bitcoin position. 
I could be wrong about Elon's short-term investments, but Elon's long-term investment goals are usually really aligned with a lot of the politics in the United States and the general politics. Basically, what Elon invests in sort of sets the tune for um, what the government, what government policy is at in the United States, especially for uh, the blue policies. Not really, uh, Elon's never in line with the red policies. That's why you never see Tesla actually trade anything higher or you know, Tesla, how do you say this in a nicer way? When the reds are in charge, Tesla stock price aren't, mm, aren't as explosive. Even though you may argue that, you know, 2020 or whatever, during the, the, the Make America Great quote unquote administration, Tesla had a really great run. But that's when they're still protected by the um, the EV loss, the, the EV rebate and a lot of credits haven't expired yet. Anyways, I don't really want to get really into the politics and everything, but as you know, most of my predictions are correct. Um, just the fact that, you know, MMT tied up on liquidity, it makes me really sad these days, but still, um, we learn, we go, we, we're on a journey together. We learn, we win, we lose. As long as our winnings are more than our losings, we're chilling guys. All right. Please go smash a like button so we can beat the YouTube algorithm. So then you can see more and more of the more of more of these premium content, including crypto news, crypto futures, market outlooks, when the market is going to crash. A lot of a lot of secret insights inside of the Chinese stock market and why all of these ADSs on the market that are Chinese stocks are going to go go this way or go that way, or just maybe you are here to listen to me, to me sing. Maybe we should start a mixtape and you know, maybe you're just here to listen to our community's uh, dating advices. And for those of you who haven't joined the discord, go do that. And for those of you who haven't followed us on Twitter, why don't you do so? Cause you know, we are adorable and you love us anyways. All right. See you guys in the upside. And again, if you haven't subbed, you know, you will have 10 years of good luck. Good luck if you sub to our channel, right? Well, if you think in about an hour, um, Bitcoin's gonna rebound back to $40,000, then my predictions are wrong. But if that doesn't happen, I mean, I'm gonna be in sleep, right? Cause I gotta wake up early for, you know, pre-market and everything. But you know, if, if my predictions come true, then, um, uh, Thanks for those people who buy the Bitcoin calls. And uh, hey, I'm so sorry that I didn't post this video earlier. But you know, weekends are the weekends and DD got a, and trying to find love. But hey, love is just, uh, sometimes love is not around the corner, guys. It's the hardest thing to find in this journey on earth. Anyways, oh, oh, you see that huge pull up? Oh my God, you see that whole oh, shoot? Oh my God, can we witness history here? Can we witness history? Can we witness history that it will go up to $40,000? Like just in an instant? See, a lot of people are, are struggling right here. Everybody knows that there's only one hour, right? Everybody knows there's only one hour left. And um, they're trying to establish a strong support at 30, 39,700. But, um, but I'm pretty sure the people who made a bunch of money yesterday are trying to squash the people who want to do the double exploration because how Seda's, Seda's calculated, um, today's explorations option on Bitcoin have a Seda advantage than yesterday's. Um, and, and humans are sort of selfish in its own way and they're competitive in its own way. And I, and I talk like I'm not a human, I am still, but. I'm less toxic as a human being. So I think they're going to squash it down. So um, let's see. Let's see what happens tomorrow morning. If it stabilizes at 40,000, then I'm, be I'm wrong. But if not, oh, well, I guess that you guys are going to bagging me for more crypto content.